Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. Uh, my name's Angela, I'm the crazy poppy lady and uh, welcome back to a week three of A Stitch A Week. Now today's a stitch is called the Shells and Chain. Okay, it's a take on what we were doing last week with our shells but we're just stepping it up a little bit here by adding in them their chains. So what are you going to need to know for this pattern? You are going to need to know how to chain, how to do a double crochet and how to do a single crochet and the same as last week. All information on those stitches are at the top here. So click through to those if you don't know how to do them. Right, so now let's and grab your yarn and grab your hook and let's get going. Okay, so uh, let's get on with this stitch. Right, so we are going to place a slip knot on our hook and we will be uh, chaining up 20. So uh, once you have your chain of 20, I'm going to count back and in the uh, second chain from the hook, place a, a single crochet. Now skip two and into that third stitch we are going to place a, a double crochet and chain one, and double crochet, and chain one double crochet so in total you will have three double crochets divide uh, separated by a chain once you've done that we will move on to the next stitch which is skip two and pop a single crochet into the third stitch and that is our repeat all the way along so I'll work through it with you again. It's skip two stitches and then into that third. It's one double crochet, a chain one. Another double crochet, so that's two. And chain one. And then three. No chaining at the end of the third. We just go straight in to the third stitch along and add a single crochet. We'll do that again. Skip two and double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. That's number two. Chain one, double crochet. Number three. Okay, so now we are at the end of our chain, all we're going to do here is place a single crochet in that last stitch. Okay, now it's time to move on to row two. So for this one, we are going to chain up four. 
this accounts as a double crochet plus a chain okay so it's chain four and turn your work into the same place as your chain so that's back into that first stitch you're going to add a double crochet okay so that's the only time you're going to do that and then look looking at your work into the top of your middle and double crochet okay so let's skip two into the top of the third stitch we're going to place a single crochet hook over okay and then skip two and into that single crochet we're going to place our shell pattern and which of course is a, a double crochet a chain one double crochet and chain one and ending with a double crochet so it should look something like that then we'll skip two stitches and pop in a single crochet there we go now on to the next stitch which again we're going into the dip so into that single crochet place your double and chain one double crochet and chain one and double crochet right so to finish off this around okay we put our anchor point which is our single crochet at the top there now we skip down two stitches and into this very last one we are going to place a double crochet a chain one and a double crochet Okay, so then and that means that both sides should look pretty similar. Now on to row number four. Right, so and now we're on to row three. For row three, you chain one and turn your work. Place a single crochet into the top of your chain. Okay, and then onto your skip two and then we do our shell pattern so of course our shell pattern is the a double crochet a chain one double crochet chain one and end with double crochet okay, and then of course the pattern is exactly the same as the row below the only differences are on the edges okay so into the top of the middle chain there we uh, pop a stitch or a single crochet now we're going back down to our single crochet here which is a skip two and into the third one place your shell single crochet oh sorry a double crochet chain one and double crochet and chain one and double crochet now we're going to skip two into the third single crochet skip two into the third is your shell okay so now we are coming to the end of the row it's skip two stitches then into the third place a single crochet okay, and that should bring our edge quite nice and neat now it's just a case of repeating rows two and three alternating between the two okay and the easy way to tell that is if you end on a single you know that you need to chain up four and if you finish on a chain up four, you know you, you need to start and end with a single. I hope that makes sense. Now remember that I'm going to do the same as I did last week, which is pop into the description box the timestamps that you need for each of the two rows. And I'll let you head off now and, and do a couple more rows while I, while I catch up with myself and then I'll be able to tell you in a few seconds how many rows I needed to do. All right, I'll see you in a second. 
Right, so for my sample square today, I have a done a 10 rows of this stitch. Okay, now to finish off, all we are going to do is a chain two, pull up a decent amount of yarn and cut it off, giving yourself a enough room and enough yarn to sew in. Then scooch your knot down and sew in those two little ends. Hide them away so you can't see them. Pop it in your box or bag. And um, that is it for this week. And so I hope to see you again here and next week for yet another stitch. I will see you all really, really soon. If you can, please stay in and definitely stay safe. To for now, everybody.